the future of data science we are using in future algorithms like massive scale graph geospatial temporal predictive analytics hyper fast analytics embedded deep learning cognitive machine learning natural language generation structured database generation cyber security healthcare internet of things customer engagement and experience smart everything human capital data for social good future of data science problems in handling data never handling never ending growth of data increased demand for data scientist popularity of machine learning emerging sources of data so uh, data science increases in data science roles clearly defined scope of data science creation of more jobs normalized data science education advancements in machine learning to foster data science this is a summary of theory what i have explained hadoop stack mathematical modeling and uh, statistical technique natural language processing machine learning behavioral economics predictive analytics data algorithm python sql or julia data mining these are the uh, summary of uh, data science now i am going to demonstrate a practical session what are the algorithms top 10 algorithms of data science see here linear regression why we are using linear regression it is a statistical model and uh, to predict the values of dependent variable based on one or more independent variables that's why we are using uh, predictive modeling predict the value of a dependent variable based on one or more independent variables that is called linear regression it is widely used in predictive modeling and forecasting to predict the value of a dependent variable suppose x0 y0 x1 y2 x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 and so on you are saying x4 y4 how you are saying based on the previous values that's why it is based on the predictive value of a dependent variable based on the uh, one or more independent variable logistic regression it is also one of the top 10 algorithm in data science <coughs> now i am going to demonstrate uh, all these algorithms relationship between categorical dependent variable and one or more independent variables okay it is commonly used in classification tasks then decision trees are a type of algorithms used for classification and regression analysis they create a model for uh, by breaking down a data set into smaller subsets eventually leading to a prediction then random forest random forest is an ensemble learning method that combines multiple decision trees to improve prediction accuracy and reduce overfitting k nearest neighbor is a classification algorithm that identifies the k nearest data points to a target point and classifies it based on the major, ma majority class among the k neighbors naive bayes it is a a uh, probabilistic algorithm that uses bayes theorem to classify data it is widely used for uh, text classification spam filtering and sentiment analysis support vector machine support vector machine is a type of supervised learning algorithm that can be used for both classification and regression analysis it finds a hyperplane that best separates data into different cl classes so these are the last uh, algorithms neural networks are the type of machine learning algorithms modeled after the human brain they are widely used in image and speech recognition natural language processing and other, and other complex tasks principal component analysis it is a dimensionality reduction algorithm it is used to reduce the number of variables 
in data set while retaining the most important information. Example, face recognition. If you take a face, what are the constraints we are taking on the face? We are taking forehead distance, moles on the face, uh, distance between nose and mouth, and uh, like various uh, features we are taking. A priori algorithm, it is a popular algorithm used in association rule mining. It identifies frequent item sets in a data set and generates rules that describe relationship between different items. 